sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning, Fairbanks, and thanks for joining us. Today is Tuesday, February the 19th, 2013, and leading our update this time, Senator Lisa Murkowski met with the so-called Tiger Team yesterday at the Fairbanks North Star Borough Chambers. The Tiger Team is a collection of city and borough officials and industry leaders who are whipping up support against a proposed Department of Defense plan to relocate the jets. Members of the team and Senator Murkowski herself testified against the move during environmental impact statement scoping meetings held earlier this month. The senator is providing a way for residents to give testimony to the EIS process through her official website. The ACS Customer Service Center in the old Woolworths building downtown is being closed. Alaska Communications will consolidate that center's services with the one in Anchorage. The Fairbanks Center has 13 employees who learned of the plan just yesterday. ACS officials say they hope to move all of those workers to other positions in Fairbanks or Anchorage. The change goes into effect March 4th and is part of the company's strategy to simplify how they do business. And contamination of drinking water in North Pole from the Flint Hills Refinery will be the subject of a hearing tomorrow. An open house, a house rather, on Sulphur Lane will be held in the North Pole Plaza Mall starting at 5.30 p.m. The technical project team overseeing the investigation and remediation of Sulphur Lane groundwater plume in North Pole is hosting the event to update the community on the project and answer questions. Topics will include the cleanup level for Sulphur Lane and the 2013 cleanup schedule. Looking at the Fairbanks weather quickly now, today it's partly cloudy with highs 5 to 12 below. Tonight mostly clear, lows 16 to 24 below. And then tomorrow it's increasing clouds with a chance of snow in the afternoon. Highs between 5 below and 5 above. Extended outlook, cloudy, a little warmer through the week, then colder again over the weekend. Air index still good for Fairbanks and North Pole, and aurora activity is forecast to be quiet. That's all we have for right now. Thanks very much for joining us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.